Hello and welcome to Business News. Now we'll start with a report from Angola as it sold crude oil worth $7.6 billion in the fourth quarter of last year, resulting from the export of 117 million barrels of sun and gold and international oil companies operated in the country. In the third quarter of the same year, 116.4 million barrels of oil were sold at an average price of $62.08 per barrel. Total exports of crude oil to China was 72%, Spain was 6% and India accounted for 5%. The National Director of Commercialization of the Ministry of Mineral Resources and Petroleum, Gaspar Simao, says Sonangol and its partners exported around 478 million barrels at an average price of $65 per barrel, which resulted in the valued gross sale of 31.2 billion US dollars. And crossing over to Botswana now, weak diamond market and increased expenditures are expected to present a challenging fiscal year for Botswana. Researchers at eConsult say the reduced mineral revenue and ballooning expenditure coined around substantial public sector pay rise spread over 2019 and 2020 are some of the negatives expected to haunt the country this year. Economist Keith Jeffries warns that there have not been enough reforms to the business environment to jumpstart private sector growth or even attract any significant foreign investment. And bringing you the latest from Egypt now, the Central Bank of Egypt says the volume of trade exchange between Egypt and other countries hit $23 billion during the first quarter of the fiscal year 2019-2020. The amount includes $15.9 billion dollars in imports and $7.12 billion in exports. The central bank in its report also indicates that the volume of trade exchange between Egypt and its 14 most important trading partners account for 60% of the total trade exchange increasing to about 14.15 billion US dollars compared to 14.03 billion dollars recorded previously. The bank also pointed out that the United Arab Emirates ranked first in terms of its most important trading partners with Egypt, with a trade exchange amounting to $1.7 billion. And in Rwanda, the country is considering scrapping visa fees for citizens of the Commonwealth nations as well as the African Union and La Francophonie uh, member countries. President Paul Kagame made the announcement at the International School for Government at King's College in London while speaking about Rwanda's transformation. Now, the move is also expected to ease access to Rwanda for a significant section of the international community. The Commonwealth has 53 members, while La Francophonie has 54 member states across the world.